So in this section, we'll be talking about the products that we offer. I'll be looking at the product roadmap, which will show you some of the various products we've launched since August 2013. And then I'll be talking about the current offerings, just kind of a broad overview of what we offer, as well as some of the highlights of each package. So first, I'd like to start with the product roadmap. So the purpose of this is to outline some of the different products we've offered over the course of uh, over the history of the, the company. So let's start with the very first product that we offered and it was launched in August 2013. It was called the NQ Legacy Algorithms. You hear me talk about them a lot actually, but they were launched in August 2013. They went through one optimization towards the end of 2013, and then sometime in, in 2014, we launched an A version. Now, the A version had another uh, change to it, and that was really the last time they were optimized. And if you follow it forward, you'll see that it was capped in 2016. And then from that point on, the dotted lines simply represent that they're still traded in customer accounts today. And I've, I've actually confirmed that they are still traded in, in quite a few accounts. So that's our NQ legacy algorithm. It consisted of three algos plus a short algo that we added later. And then we added the 10 year note to it as well. The next kind of product that we offered was in November, 2014, when I launched the ES active package. And that was very similar to the NQ legacy only it used the S and P instead. And, and we ended up launching a V2 version of that. And then around January, 2016, we capped it. And I believe at the time, we actually offered our current ES customers to move over to the NQ uh, due to the NQ doing a little bit better than the ES. But as of today, there are still a handful of people still on the ES active as well. So then in October 2015, we launched the Swing Trader. And, and that's really the first one that we launched that we still trade today is the Swing Trader. And we launched it and, and this package, it, it went by a different name at the time. I think it was ESTY Futures, but, um, but it is the same bullfire algorithm, Momentum ES, that, that began way back in October 2015. And it's, it's the same uh, algorithm that we trade today. So the other thing I wanted to point out though is this January 2016, you have an options uh, product sequence as well. The options, we, I looked at doing covered calls as well as iron condors. And, um, and this, was, this was dropped in February of 2018 due to poor performance. And so um, I kind of mentioned that just to let you know that not every package that we've offered or that I've developed has been a resounding success. The, the iron condors in particular and the covered calls, they, they just didn't really do well in 2017 and then the beginning of 2018 as well. And so we ended up dropping them at that point. Um, so that leads me into this S&P Crusher. Now the S&P Crusher is another one that's still traded today. And this sequence was uh, began in September, 2016. It actually had the iron condor and the covered calls as part of it. And around February, 2018 is when, when we dropped the options uh, platform, the independent one or the, the standalone product, I also pulled them out of the crusher. So in 2016, September, the crusher actually traded seven algos. It traded the same five it does now, plus these two options algorithms. But again, we dro I dropped the options algorithms out of it and launched the V2, and that's this sequence right here. So then that leaves us with two more, the Wave Trader and the Pro Trader, and they both were launched in February, 2019. And really the reason why they were both launched then is because I, I developed an algorithm called the Geronimo algo that I, I'll talk about that in another, in another, another video. But basically what, what I did is if you take the swing trader and you replace the momentum ES algorithm with a different momentum ES algorithm called the Geronimo, that's basically the wave trader. And then the pro trader is in essence, the S and P crusher, the same five algorithms that are in the S and P crusher and then you add the Geronimo to it. So really these two that started February, 2019, they started together because that's when the Geronimo was, was launched. But keep in mind, some of the algorithms in them, in fact, in the Pro Trader, the other five algos actually began back in September, 2016. So again, the point of this is, is really to just highlight these, um, these different product sequences that we had. The NQ legacies are still traded today. Um, same with the ES Active, although not quite as many on that. There's just a handful on the ES Active still. 
But then the swing trader, which began way back in October 2015, that's still traded today with uh, very few changes to it. And then the the crusher, same same deal, began in September 2016. There was a bigger change to it though when we dropped the options, and and that's the V2 launch that you see here, and that was in February 2018. And then February 2019, you have the wave trader and the pro trader. So as of today, we are still offering the swing trader, the S&P crusher the wave trader and the pro trader. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about the current products that we offer. Notice that you'll see four uh, products. You see the wave trader, swing, crusher, and pro trader. These are the four systems that we offer. And on the website, you'll see under trading systems, under that tab, you'll see each one of these listed. And you can click on, on the, the tab to see the details of each one of these. What I'm doing here is I'm just showing you kind of conceptually where each system lies compared to the other system. Uh, keep in mind too that trading futures, uh, the risk of loss can be substantial and, and you should consider whether this kind of trading is, is right for you based on your situation. Again, we're not CTA, so I can't, I can't give you any personal advice and, and it's really for risk capital. Um, all right, so with that brief disclaimer out of the way, let's talk about these four systems. So depending on what someone is after uh if, if somebody is is mostly concerned with live trades in other words you, you mainly only want to trade something that has a longer live trade history then you would want to consider the swing trader or the crusher because notice they began live in 2017 and and so you'll also notice that it's there's more yellow shaded in in the in the bubble i did that so that you can uh kind of see which one has which strength so for example, if win rate is the most important thing for you, if, if emotionally, you know, you just need to have higher, a higher number of wins than losses, forgetting about everything else for maybe for more emotional reasons, then the wave trader might be a good product for you. If you've only got 20,000 to trade with, then either the wave or the swing trader would be the ones to go with. And if you have more than that, then the crusher and the pro trader could be considered. If, if you are mainly wanting to trade the most number of algorithms to to have more of a diversified uh, system going, then the pro trader is the one you'd want to go with because it trades all six or possibly the crusher because it trades five. And if you're mostly concerned with drawdown, in other words, you don't want you want to do your best to not lose a lot during the swings, then the crusher would be the one to go with because notice how there's more yellow shaded in. That means it has a lower drawdown. And you could also think about the swing trader as well. Notice that it's it's also uh, fairly heavily shaded in. And then the pro trader and the wave trader have the, have the bigger drawdowns. And if, like many people out there, you mainly are concerned with returns, then either the swing trader or the pro trader. So that's really the purpose of this is to help, help kind of uh, narrow down which system you might want to go with. And then once you have an idea, what you'd want to do is go to the website and look at, at more of the details and the performance of each one of these. You could also just call us and I'll, I'll give that information on the next slide. You could call us and we can walk you through it. We can do a demo and we're, we're happy to do that, used to doing that kind of thing. Um, other than that, though, I think that that kind of sums it up for this slide. I mean, this is basically just a, a high level view of what of what we're offering. So that the swing trader and the crusher have traded live the longest they have the longest live trade history the pro trader has the highest returns and the highest number of algorithms traded the wave trader has the highest win rate i believe it's about 80 percent actually so four out of five trades are winners on that one um, and then the the swing trader is just sort of a well-balanced all-around algorithm it has a pretty high win rate it has a relatively lower drawdown. The returns are actually the highest along with the pro trader and it's traded live the, uh, since 2017. So as we're closing the video, I, I do wanna just add the risk disclosure and feel free to pause this if you, if you want to read it. Um, just remember that, that trading futures does involve significant risk of loss. There's a large potential for gain, but also a large potential for loss. Remember that we, we provide trading algorithms based on computerized system, which means it's also available for use on a personal computer. Everyone gets the same signals within a, any given package. So in other words, we don't give any, adv any advice that's personal to you. It's not tailored to you. It's, it's simply an algorithm that other people are trading independent of what your unique situation might be. 
Finally, we're not registered with the NFA's CTAs and we're publicly claiming this uh, self-executing exemption from registration. And lastly, just remember that the data that we provide, because we're not registered, it's not been reviewed by any government agencies. Uh, this includes any back-tested report statements, any marketing material that we have. And then finally, uh, in most cases, the, the, the results that we show does not include the one-time fee that we charge or the maintenance fee. All right, well, I really do hope that the presentation was helpful for you. And I just wanna end by adding just this contact us slide. So feel free to email us at sales at algorithmictrading.net. You can also give us a call, the 1-800 number, it's 866-759-6546. Of course, our website, algorithmictrading.net, and you can, you can visit us on the web. We have plenty of data on the website to include past performance, the live returns. Uh, you can fill out a demo request form. Really, most anything that you want to see or that you need to hear from us about, we're, we're able to provide that for the most part. So feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, and thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.